the style of lettering used in landscape design work has a very big influence on how the design is interpreted by the client. If we look at this particular drawing here and we zoom in a little and let's pick some of the lettering here, you can see it's in a style called 50 text, whereas this lettering here is in a dimensioning style called 1-25 dollar sign 7. That tells us it comes from the AutoCAD environment. Let's zoom out a little more and let's, in fact, let's zoom extents and let's have a look at some of the detail of uh, the construction. This is the brick planter detail here. And here there's a mixture of textiles. Dimensioning is done in a dimension style called 1 to 20. And if we look at that dimension style here, its text is using a textile standard, whereas this is just a piece of M text. And if we pick the M text, it's in a style called Arc Style. So there's quite a lot of variation here. If we go to a layout and zoom extents, there's the plan. If we zoom in here on the title sheet and title block information, um, that has certain, certain text styles within it. Under details, you can see those details that we were looking at uh, some time earlier. And if we go to species, you can see here that if we select that piece of text there, that's in a style called Architext. So quite a number of different text styles are used throughout the four or five documents that describe this design. There's various schools of thought with this, but I think simplifying the number of styles you use in the design isn't such a bad idea. All of those styles come and can be looked at via format and text styles. And I can stretch this down a little and you can see that there are a number of text styles here. Some of them are using Windows fonts. So there's a style, a style called CC Logo. And if we click here and look at it and look, let me move this up and over here. It's using a, a, a font called TT, a true type font, a Windows font um, called Swiss 721. So we can OK. There, so there are a lot of styles in this drawing. Some are CAD styles and some are Windows styles. The disadvantage of using a Windows style is, is that if you send this drawing as a GK Plus drawing to somebody else, they have to have that particular Windows font installed for the design to read true. You'll still be able to read the text, but it might spread out over different parts of the drawing. So we would lean towards simplifying the range of styles you use in any design. So we can loosely group the fonts used in a GK Plus drawing as either a window sort of font, which we've just mentioned, and on the right of the screen now, over in this zone, are some Windows text. You can do all sorts of fancy things with Windows text. You can wrap it around an arc as we've done there and Windows text gives you some really interesting sort of blobby styles of writing but as we mentioned moving the drawing to somebody else who's using GCAD plus they may not have those fonts so we would recommend that you stick with the inbuilt CAD fonts that are in GCAD plus some of them match AutoCAD fonts um, one of them a very ugly font called a TXT font is shown here at the top of the column, um, but style italic mimics rather early versions of AutoCAD. But in GCAD Plus, we give you a range of styles or fonts rather, which are associated with a style name uh, that enable you, if you want, to give a hand lettered feel to the design. What I wanted to illustrate is these text styles through here have all been set at, uh, at the same height, either five or seven millimeters. You look at this one, there's seven millimeters. These very small ones in appearance are actually seven units, not millimeters, seven units high. Notice the variation, not only in the height of text, but in the, in the sense of the darkness of text. So let's go 
to an A3 sheet and let's go file and save as a PDF file and we'll just have a look at these fonts from that zone and we'll go to the desktop and overwrite one called test and we'll, let's just have a look at these fonts that are in a GK plus drawing let's step away a little bit and I hope you can see now these are all sort of hand lettered fonts give you a wide choice you can have sort of crude handwriting if that's what you want or more stylized handwriting but notice the difference in density of the print and they're all, as I said they're all set at the same unit height but you get lots of variation so I guess it's a matter of picking one or two styles that you like then sticking with so this drawing has lots and lots of fonts being used in different styles and if we click format and styles here maybe we make it a little larger you can see there's some uh, 20 odd styles here using a range of different fonts some windows fonts and some CAD fonts what I did want to illustrate and if we zoom extends here's a here's a landscape designed for a very awkward triangular shaped block and the the feel of this drawing can be very different if we change our font style if we select that piece of text it's in a style called standard one trick just to show you quickly is you can take for, format text styles find the standard style here and just change the font and I'll change it to one that I rather like uppercase 2 and we'll OK that and OK and GK Plus then regenerates and recreates this um, the text in the in the design and the the feel of the drawing changes we can the text is darker than it was in the standard what was previously assigned to the standard font so you can make changes very quickly by redefining a style in that way but far better of course to, to decide on a style that you're going to use that reflects your lettering style and stick with it so i hope that clears up some of the questions we've been asked about text styles and lettering in GK Plus drawings.